What is good everybody? Welcome to Volar's Paradise. My name is Ben. I'm a USB-C Silver Certified Coach and today we're taking a look at the all-new Rotogrip Hustle USA. Here's some numbers on me, here's some numbers on the ball, and here's how we laid it out. At this point, I've lost count of the number of hustles that Rotogrip has released. However, this most recent version is the only one I feel compelled to salute. The all-new Hustle USA should be coined the Baby Crux Prime because the covers look identical, but their performance, well, not so much. The Hustle USA features the tried and true Hustle Core wrapped by the VTC, short for Versatile Traction Control Solid Cover Stock, which comes out of the box at a 3000 grit. Even though this is identical to the previous release Hustle PBR, I would venture to guess that the USA's cover formulation does have some differences as the shapes don't look the same to my eye. Now I have a pretty long personal history with the Hustle line but the most popular so far has been the ink as that release and many others provided the most hook for the cost seeming to outperform the HP2 line and overall hook potential in there by performance, I think the Hustle line has handicapped sales for Rotogrip for a long time. This is highlighted by the performance of the Hustle line, which I believe is still one of the best balls currently produced by Rotogrip. So on the lanes, I had high expectations. Even though the Hustle USA is in the lower tier of performance, the history of the line had me believing that the performance would overmatch the price tag. But surprisingly, this piece felt tamed down compared to those previous versions. On this fresh house shot, I had to make sure to feed it out to the outside part of the lane, otherwise it would hydroplane and get behind the pocket quickly. When delivered correctly, the shape was great. It picked up a strong roll, went through the pins well, and I didn't feel like I had to do anything crazy to make that happen. As I moved inside, it recovered from the large angles I had to play pretty well, but if I would miss inside, leaving the 2810 felt more probable in striking. Then a really interesting thing happened. For context, I only threw this piece in succession for all of these shots, and you'll notice after a while, the Hustle USA gets lazier and lazier down lane. It's almost like it wanted to teach me a lesson on carry down, and the only way to beat it was by throwing the ball in the air. The fresh cover blew up the heads quickly, but once I realized that and started to clear them more effectively, the high quality shape realized early was returned. So with that, I see the Hustle USA as a true HP1 level ball. This piece is notably weaker in overall strength than the hype solid and feels like Roto Grip finally put the hustle line in its place. That means that lower ball speed players are going to really like this Hustle USA in their arsenals. By being able to stay outside on both house and sport shots longer and use the proven shape generated by this Hustle core, they'll be able to create the right amount of angle to get all 10 to go down more and more often. The Hustle USA is easily the most patriotic release of 2022, and if you need a piece to round out the end of your arsenal, it will help you fly your flag at the top of the standing sheet as well. And you can pick this up and much more today at bowlersparadise.com. Be sure to use the discount code YouTube at checkout for free shipping. Big shout out to the guys at Striking at Pro Shop for the layout and drilling of this piece, as well as to Dale's Weston Lanes for letting us film this video. Before you go, smash that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit that notification bell for more ball and product reviews. And of course, remember you guys, having the right ball in your hand, now that's a bowler's paradise. Peace.